In my 33 years of coaching, managing thought diversity has been the number one request in every sector, whether it's financial or manufacturing, government, healthcare, or universities. I take them all through the three-step process of the matrix model management system. One, communication storytelling, two, emotion metrics, and three, wisdom. That's how I reshape their thinking and boost their creativity. And why do I do this matrix work? I like to refer to a futurist who spoke at the Chattanooga Chamber of Commerce not long ago. He reported that every year, 20% of our goods and services go obsolete unless they are technology driven and then 100% go obsolete in just one year. That means we've got to get really creative to keep up. But keep in mind, as the UCLA Institute of Neuroscience tells us, the most creative and the big shifts happen at the edge of chaos. Now, also at the edge of chaos is thought diversity. Think of it as big data. If you manage it poorly, you fall over the edge. If you build new neurons to manage it well, you get creativity. And that's why I want to start you off with matrix number one, storytelling communication. Stories are compact packages of big data, of cultures that have always used stories to communicate with impact. From Adam and Eve, to Tortoise and the Hare, to Star Wars, stories shape how we think and feel. And I remember 50 years ago, my mom told me I had to take matrix algebra. And I said, that's computer stuff. I've never even seen a computer. I'm a folklore fanatic. But she was right. And what I found is that the combination of stories and the matrix process is one of the most powerful paths to innovation I've ever seen. So I want you to look at the issue of storytelling, learn the skill, and start applying it. Apply it specifically to matrix number two, emotion metrics. Here's where you build the high emotional intelligence you will need at the edge of chaos. For example, an agency saw that the discussion over the December celebrations was reaching a very high emotional level. They used emotion metrics to anticipate and manage the emotions involved in it. And they created a committee to work on it. That was where they started the new story and the new policies that would soon be accepted because that committee invested itself in matrix number three, wisdom. Starting with expertise, made sure it understood and had knowledge of diverse religious observances. Two, they had to have character and be seen as fair. Three, vision and not just hope but plan, objectives, tasks, timelines, and only then were they able to go on to action. And the result was indeed policies and programs that were acceptable and sustainable for the future. And that's what I want for you. I want you to have the communication ability, the emotional intelligence, and the wisdom to create and innovate for the future. Check out my website at americandiversityreport.com. Contact me. I'm here to help you. It would be my honor. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.